My road to the to Damascus moment is the if whenever you hear the sounds of the music, you will begin to do this with the bluegrass music. It's just, you just do. Most of the artists we've met in our travels have something which really catches their eye. For Margot Russell, it wasn't just what she saw, it was what she felt and heard. Well, I loved the bluegrass because it comes from the storytelling. And, and it became then, after then, one of my main motifs, you know, that I sought after to go seek these people out. Parking lot picking is, is a whole lot more fun and they offer me food too. <laughs> You know, it's just wonderful, ordinary folks making extraordinary art. From parking lot pickings to bluegrass festivals across the South, if you look around, you're liable to spot Margot Russell making her extraordinary art. I always take uh, brown paper around. So I put the brown paper down on the ground and as the music starts, that gives me, their energy gives me permission to do my, make my marks. It's an energy exchange, if you will. They put up with me. <laughs> and I've been doing this so long and I they say, oh, there she is. But I show up, they save me a parking space. Uh, my favorite place down in Henderson is Hippie Hollow, which is down behind the old schoolhouse, which is literally falling in today. From her paintings to her sculptures, Margot documents a sense of time and place, of music and family and feeling. Whether or not you get the entire message that I'm trying to give, there again is the exchange. Whether there are people that are fascinated when I start doing these scribbly marks and then the watercolor comes out and they say, I can't believe you did that, you know? Margot's art is really more than just looking, it's about listening and seeing a style of music and musician and a feeling which is absolutely Alabama. At the Cultural Arts Center in Troy, I'm Fred Hunter. That's going to turn out okay. <laughs>